Voters in 27 EU countries concluded their four-day participation in the European Parliament elections on Sunday, with expectations pointing towards a potential rightward shift in the Parliament and a rise in EU skeptical nationalist representation, with economic challenges persisting and migration policies faltering. Many Europeans opted for far-right parties in hopes of addressing living conditions and establishing unified foreign policies, especially in the context of the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. The most important thing is, of course, high prices, migration and our nation issues, which were not discussed at all during the pre-election campaigns. There are two main criteria according to which I voted today. One has to do with the economic policy in Europe and the other, which is very important, with the environment. However, concerns loom over the potential dominance of the right far in the parliament, which could complicate efforts towards continental integration and reshape European politics. Especially if you have the history of social democracy, then you know that for all of us, and for us at the top of the SPD, such a frustrating result is not a reason to bury our heads in the sand, but to say it is now more than ever. The outcome of the 2024 European Parliament elections holds significance for the 447 million citizens across the 27 member states, as it will determine the configuration of the European Commission and set the course for European foreign policy for the next five years.